Hey, it's Dr. J, and I am here to wish you incredible blessings, love, and health as we pass through this holiday season. Now, I recognize that for lots of you, uh, just the mere wishing of a holiday blessing triggers all kinds of strange reflections and questions, right? Like, how does he know what I celebrate? And do I really want just another platitude online? Uh, does he even care? And what about people who don't celebrate the holidays? And he's got a Santa hat on. And what about Hanukkah? And what about Kwanzaa? And I don't know, this time of the year, sometimes it's Diwali or... Um, Ramadan actually occasionally lands in December. What is he thinking wishing us a blessed season? Well, honestly, I don't care what you celebrate, but I do want to wish you a blessing. And I'd also like to wish you a special opportunity to use this holiday as a chance to become a little more self-aware and maybe to make some choices about how you see the world. So, I'd like to use a lens that's become quite popular these days. People talk about understanding whether life is happening to you or for you. And I actually have always enriched this sort of way of thinking. I believe there's actually three perspectives. I consider one the perspective, perspective of the self, the other the perspective of the soul, and the other the perspective of the spirit. And you will know where you spend a lot of your time in life based on how you respond to the holidays. So let's take a look. When you identify first and foremost with a self, that's a name, an identity, a job, maybe a place, maybe a culture, maybe a stage of life, maybe a gender, essentially a lot of things that other people see from the outside in, then we tend to be more self-protecting, self-preserving, and that consciousness leads to a more transactional or oppositional style of thinking. So when something happens, it happens to me. If this holiday is turning out well, it's happening to me. If it's turning out poorly, it's happening to me. And the way I evaluate, the way I evaluate what everyone else is saying or doing around me, again, is all about how it affects me and impacts me. And if I don't like the feeling or the consequence or the hat, I want them to change, not me. But we can also make a step in life if we're on the journey of healing or transformation, the psychological journey, the spiritual journey. And we can start to consider that maybe if we identify as something growing and evolving, if we identify as a soul, maybe life is happening for me. And there's a reason why this is happening this Christmas, this sorrow, this loss, this self-awareness, this, this gift, this beauty, this joy, this absence, whatever it is. And so we ask the question, what is it here to teach me? One of the greatest uh, holiday classics, regardless of your culture or religion, I think is A Christmas Carol, in which Scrooge is asked to look back at the story of his life and not only consider where he came from and how it influenced him, but to recognize how what he has become and identified with will shape where he's going. That's a powerful opportunity for all of us and any of us. And so, when we consider that life is happening for us, it's like everything is the ghost of Christmas past and present and future. Everything could be the ghost of Hanukkah past and present and future. Everything could bring us into a greater alignment with the self. When we understand that we are a soul, the world becomes mythical. The world becomes symbolic. The light on the Christmas tree becomes a kind of plea for light in our life. The light on the Hanukkah menorah becomes a kind of prayer for magic to be returned. And it goes on through all of our cultures and traditions. You have the chance to choose the way you view this time of the year and to release your reactivity to whatever is not for you. But there's a third step we can take, and that's when we realize that we are not only a self that others see, we are not only a soul that only we truly know, but we are also the spirit of life itself. 
we too come from the very same force and power and magic that created the trees around me, the very current of electricity that flows through the lights behind me. We are also united with life as everything else is. We are stardust, we are mystery, and we are both magic and matter. We are science and spirituality. And in this way, we can recognize that all of creation, all of creation every day is an opportunity to learn, to love, to help, and to simply embrace the humanness that we have come here for. So we don't have to love everything that's going on. We don't have to like everything that's going on this holiday season, but we can open our hearts, open our minds, and choose to learn, to love, to help, and to embrace the beauty of being that is always present, whether our smaller self likes it or not. With that, I wish you all the best, and I hope we're going to see more of each other in 2024.